Nightmare here. Jack Don't Care here. Welcome to the community, which we also call Spice Town, interestingly enough. What do we stand for? What are we here for? Well, we're a community for everybody, and we believe that everyone is worthy of a community, and we hope that you will join us and choose us as your community. So what's going on? Well, we're going to be recording this, keeping this as a podcast, and I will be also uploading this to YouTube as a video. So we're going to start that way. We're live on Twitch, but I'm going to start that way. And then I'm going to end that, and we'll move on to the regular streaming schedule. Puina asks, can we elect a new mayor? Yes, yes you can, by going and watching a different stream, slash podcast, slash blog. Hopefully, <laughs> don't do that, then I'll have to put a bag on my head. Everyone's looking at me now, with a bag on my head. And, uh, yeah, Servo would make... Actually, I think Servo is above mayor. Puina is nominating Servo as the mayor. I honestly think Servo should be, like, president... Uh, king president of the entire Spicy Town universe. That would be his position. So let's move on to our topic of the day, which is casual wear. Uh, if you didn't know, I have a blog where I post about these kind of topics and things. And uh, you're free. <laughs> yes, yes. Also nominate Servo for God, of course. Uh, as you can tell, we got a chill stream going on. No green screen or anything like that. That's what we do Wednesdays. So. Um, I have a blog post going on about this. If you want to read that and check that out, I'll also be posting this as a podcast. I'll also be posting this to YouTube and Twitch as a video. So, yes, welcome. Welcome, little Tom. Good to have you. So that's how I'm going to start. Also, if you're in chat right now, feel free to ask questions, uh, to question me, and to let me know your thoughts. Or you can send those on Discord or the blog itself, and I can try to uh, attack those questions at a different time. All right? So I'm going to go ahead and start reading the blog, reading, read off the blog, reading it live on Twitch, and I'll kind of fill in little details, stories, that kind of thing. Also, I thought it'd be good to show you pictures. So uh, a lot of you might not be looking at the blog, and so it might be good. Uh, Tom asks, how long, how long have I lived in California? Um, I have always lived in California my entire life, specifically the San Francisco Bay Area, which if you're not familiar with, is one of the uh, most costliest places to live in the United States, probably the world. Um, but we make it work, you know. We have we have Google and Facebook, I guess, and they're pro they're probably watching my every move right now. And you know, it it works. It it works that way. So can't can't really complain too much about that. Doesn't get set on fire like other parts of California. Um, uneducated, yes, uneducated for sure. So. I'm going to read the blog post, and then uh, you can keep filling in a little thing. Did you go to college? Yes. Yes, I did go to college. I have a bachelor's, um, and uh, yeah, I think that's I think that's all I really want to say on that. Um, it would call himself out. <laughs> call myself out for what? So, uh, for, most of, for most of my life, anyway, I've wore poorly fitted jeans, graphic tees. You know, these are like t-shirts with like a really geeky like logo on it or something, like from a video game or TV show from my childhood. Um, I don't remember what shoes I preferred before I switched to uh, Vibrams, which if you don't know what those are, um, I specifically fell in love with the, the Hemp Edition. Uh, these are the most, very, most comfortable shoes I have ever worn. I've never worn shoes this comfortable before as these ones. Those are my shoe. These are my... Um, no, let me continue. Let me go. Puina brings up. There's nothing wrong with graphic tees. Let me let me continue. Let me, get, let me continue. Uh, so I don't remember what kind of shoes I wore before I wore these, but I wore, I just basically, I probably just grabbed whatever looked interesting and was cheap or whatever, right? I never put any thoughts into my looks. And you know what? That's okay, Puina. That's okay. As I said, it's perfectly fine. I'm not here to shame anybody. I think if you're okay with that, then you should stay okay with that. Um, I, I challenge you to break out of the box, but I don't think there's anything wrong with living that way. There's zero negativity um, in that sense. Um, yes, everyone, uh, Tom is scared right now of the V-Rooms. He sees them on the screen right now, which you won't see on the podcast, but you can look them up. Uh, the V-Room Five Fingers. And yes, once you get over, I actually got, I roped in like two or three of my friends to get them. So we all kind of had them. And we're all cool together, of course. We were the coolest. So as I was saying, that's okay. Now here's where things changed for me. I didn't, I realized that I didn't like never knowing uh, my jean size or what fit I needed. Yeah, every time, you know, I'd go into the store and I have no idea what I'm doing and I just buy something, right? Maybe I tried it on, maybe I didn't, um, but, you know, it would just, uh, they would be different sizes and different shapes and I wouldn't really know what I was supposed to do. Now, today, I've decided that I'm going to put more effort into this. I think I'm worth the effort. I hate not being informed about things. I love learning about new things and I used to think clothes weren't worth my time, that it was worthless, but now 
I, 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 I want that. Like, I want something to fit well. I want something to look good. I want it to be affordable. I want it to last a long time. And I want it to look good. So what are we going to do? We're going to talk about the very basics. So Servo brings up um, how sweaty vibrams make your feet. Um, I don't know, actually. I don't know what the difference is um, in sweat and breathability um, between these shoes and other kinds of shoes. Obviously, it depends. I think it all depends on the fabric. Uh, the fabric is going to depend on the breathability of the shoes. Mm. So let's go ahead and move on to the, the next topic of the blog, which is casual versus relaxed. I wanna, I wanna, I'm using my own language here, and I want to establish what these two different things are. So first of all, I want to differentiate between what I personally call casual and relaxed. Relaxed is like your sweatpants and your Power Rangers shirt. This is stuff you put on the lounge around your house or with your friends. And once again, I have nothing against this. You might even take that further. Um, but that's just what I consider, what's what I consider uh, relaxed. Casual is actually a step above that. It's not like I can wear anything, it's a step above that. Um, that's when you replace your t-shirt of like a nostalgic children's show with more of like a plain white t-shirt or a black t-shirt or a green t-shirt you put on some real pants you know some dark wash jeans or something you're not just wearing shorts 100 percent of the time which i know people do and so you actually go out and you actually you can appear like you put a ton of effort in even just by wearing casual clothes you can look like you put effort into it that you like put together these specific pieces but it's actually really easy um people are asking about buffering uh, stream is fine yeah at&t internet sucks um Sweet, sweet. Thanks, guys. Thanks for the input. Now, um, here's an example outfit of mine. Um, I actually uh, I put a picture. Actually, I don't see the picture in the in the blog right now. So apparently, I remember I was having some issues with the images, and so I think I need to um, put that back in to the blog. So I need to remember that to put picture back in. Looks like we hit a uh, we hit a snag. But you know what? We just got to keep going. We just got to do it. We hit a snag. And I'm going to go ahead and load up my Google Drive. And I'm going to show you guys the picture the other way. Yep, there it is. I think I, I think I could just drag this. Can I drag it? No. All right, I'll also open it up this way. And load it like this. There we go. Um, -da 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 -da. There it is. So this is kind of one of my, this is like a basic casual outfit that I'd wear. Uh, more winter style because it's got the double jackets. So I generally wear these days a collared shirt, um, and these are often button down, but polos, uh, plain plain t-shirts, these are fine too. Um, jeans have been my go-to for a while, but there is a new type of pant that I've never heard of until recently, which is the chino. Honestly, it's really hard to tell the difference, um, and I, I put a link in the blog on how uh, how do you can tell the difference. And there's many different kinds of pants out there. The wool chinos that I got from my Stitch Fix which are actually pretty dressy, they're more like dress pants, are the most comfortable pair of pants I own. And so I kind of challenge you to try those out. If you see a store, see chinos, uh, try them out. Um, in this outfit that I'm showing everyone, I have a brown Levi's jacket, um, a green hoodie that I just have. It was like from, a, I think it was from Goodwill or something. It was a very good, it's a very good uh, hoodie. I have a watch, which I got is a black leather strap. Um, from, it's breed and it was from a gentleman's uh, premium box, which I opened a second one and got a second watch, which is a different style uh, on my YouTube. So if you're interested in seeing what was in that box, it's on there. I have uh, my Anson belt, which is a belt that I highly recommend. Um, there's many different styles you can get. Shamrock wallet. I have a pair of Ray-Bans Wayfarers, and I have uh, Levi jeans. Once again, just relaxed fit, just, just standard. Uh, I really want to try something different in the future. And then green Vans, so I've just uh, the old school. They're suede. They have some uh, suede leather on the ends, which I really like. I really like how it's like two tone uh, green right there. So now that you've seen my clothes, and everyone's heard me talk about them. And now that we've established what I think casual clothes are, let's just break down the basics. Break down the basics of casual clothes. Uh, first of all, I just want to establish that if you keep things basically neutral, they'll go with everything. So for me, someone who's very new to fashion, thinking about clothes, like how do I how do I get uh, an outfit together? How do I do that? So if you're new to fashion like I am, there's no rush, I think, to a crazy with style. Find something simple, comfortable, and if it matches with everything, then you can just choose whatever you want and basically it'll look good. Rotation is important. So if you hang up your clothes in a particular order or just choose randomly, either way, um, you want to look good without having to overthink it, right? I don't sit there and like choose like, oh, does this color go with this color or does this go with this? I don't really do that. I, um, basically, my pro tip is lay out your night, your outfit the night before, put it out, 
and then you'll be good. So as you build confidence, you can sort of use the change one item technique, which is another thing I've read about online, where you add a color um, style as you get more comfortable. Hey, g what's going on? <laughs> We're just doing a, a casual stream right now. And um, casual, yeah, I'm talking about casual clothes. We're also doing a chill stream right now before I play Minecraft. We're just talking about my blog post, which um, I think you've heard about it and seen it, but if you haven't, there it is. So um, as you build confidence, you sort of replace things. So for example, um, if you're just wearing black, gray, and brown, you basically goes with everything. You know, if you have, um, you know, jeans and, and brown, uh, and a brown jacket and brown shoes. It's, it's going to go with everything. You can you can wear that with any kind of color shirt. It doesn't really matter. Um, and so, but if you want to start experimenting, you can start replacing one thing at a time. So wear the exact same outfit, but instead of wearing a gray tee with dark wash jeans and black vans, try wearing a colorful t-shirt or light wash jeans or blue vans. Change it up. Change up the colors of one thing. And <laughs> let's go on, I can guess. We're talking about my blog post right now. Good to have you. Good to have everybody. Um, basically, you don't have to completely alter your style to change things up. You can actually just change one thing and add a little bit of color here or a little color here and you'll be good. So what is this matching thing that I'm talking about? Let me break down sort of each, um, each part of a casual outfit that I think you should focus on. First is shoes, because honestly, I think you should spend the most on shoes. And I personally spend uh, more on shoes than just about anything else because these are the things that you're standing on the whole time during the day. So these could be um, boots, sneakers, loafers, or mocks. Any of these things could potentially be um, good for you to wear in a casual outfit. You could wear any of these. Um, if you stick, like I said, with that brown, black, and gray, you're basically always good. What you want to do, though, is you want to make sure your shoes and your belt match. So like um, if they're leather and they're black, you want to make sure they're both black. If it's brown, you want to make sure they're both brown. If you can match it with your uh, your watch, even better. Um, you want to try to match uh, these basic colors. Uh, once you have that down, you can wear jeans of any color. You can wear chinos or basically any color and shirt, whatever you want um, is basically all good at that point. So if you can nail those basics, I think. Start with the shoes, you'll be good. Belts, um, like I said, can often come in reversible. Uh, brown on one side, black on the other, which is great because you only need one belt to go with your brown shoes and to go with your black shoes, you only need one belt. However, I prefer Anson belts, which don't actually use holes. Um, they actually use a uh, track system and um, I think it's an amazing deal. I bought them and unboxed them on stream a while back. I don't think that video exists anymore, but I'd be glad to make a separate post just for Anson belts. I can show you mine, uh, the costs, why I think they're why I think they're so great. There's also a video that I um, that I could link to as well. I think I posted it in my Discord, so definitely check that out if you're on Discord. Pants, 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 pants. Once again, I don't think you can go wrong with dark wash jeans. Basically, it goes with everything in a casual outfit. If you go if you go dark wash jeans like the ones I have on my screen, you're basically good with everything else. Everything else doesn't really matter. Um, I am currently wearing a relaxed fit, but like I said, everyone's body shape is different. I think you want to look into something. I want to look into this more slim fit. I say experiment. Try a bunch with your friend. Try on four or five different styles. And like I said, if you go dark dark wash, you're basically good with everything. Um, this watch is a uh, the watch I have in this picture is is by Breed. It's a watch that came with my um, with my premium uh, gentleman's box. I also got another watch from them. It's a uh, it's a uh, steel watch like silver. And um, I definitely have some ideas about watches. I've looked into a ton of different watches. I have not personally bought myself a watch. I got two now from boxes. I have a black leather strap. I have the metal. And now I, I want to get like a brown. I want to get a brown strap next. So if you have recommendations, you can DM those to me because I'm still looking for like a brown, a really nice looking brown watch. I saw some wood ones that look pretty crazy. Like it's like made of wood basically. And I'm like, that, that blew me away. I really wanted that one. So um, yeah, definitely. Um, I've been doing a lot of research on all of these things, watches, belts. I'm like, I know a lot of things, but I still haven't actually broken down and bought a watch. And honestly, I'm probably not going to do it for a long time now that I own two. I'll tell you about my strategy with the number of clothing items you want uh, in a bit. Um, shoes on carpet is a no-go. Right. Yes. Yes, of course. So uh, that's what I think about pants. Shirts. I mostly wear checkered long sleeve shirts, um, and yes, they usually have buttons. They almost always have buttons, and these can be generally tucked or untucked depending on the situation. Um, if you can tell if a shirt is supposed to be tucked by the hem, which is like the bottom. So if it's like a t-shirt, then it's straight, and you should never tuck that in. Uh, it, it, you, you just shouldn't do it. If it has a bit of a curve to it on the sides, you know, it has like that bit of a curve, then it's usually optional. Um, really what it comes down to is like if it hangs too low. If it's like hanging way far down and it's blocking your whole 
frontal area, you should probably just tuck it in. Like you don't want to look like you're wearing a dress, right? So if it's looking that long, just tuck it in. And then if you're like, oh, it feels too formal now. Now I'm tucking in my shirt when I'm out with my friends. Roll up the sleeves and you can sort of maintain more of a casual look um, with having a tucked in shirt. If you tuck in the shirt, just roll the sleeves. And uh, <laughs> yes, good guys, yes. So uh, when it comes to jackets, uh, there's a ton of jacket styles out there that, that people say are timeless. They're basically they're always going to be good, uh, which once again is what I want. I prefer for something that I know is always going to look good. I don't do like fast fashion. Um, I don't want. I don't want to. Um, I don't jump onto trends or anything. I'm trying to stick with something that's going to last for a while. So I'm currently rocking a Levi shirt, which is uh, sorry, Levi jacket, which is right here. I got it on sale. It's like it's like normally like $160. I got it for like 100 or something like that. Um, it's excellent. I love the color. Once again, this kind of brown color that will go basically anything. Uh, I really like that. Um, so the ones that a lot of people recommend are jean jackets, leather jackets, bomber jackets. Those are kind of a few of the styles that people um, wear. I would definitely wear those. And uh, most of these you can wear in moderate weather. You can just throw them on anytime. The full coat that I own is a pea coat and it's black and I love it. I definitely recommend pea, pea coat. This is not leather. Uh, I forget the exact uh, material it is. Probably some kind of uh, cotton or something. And I'll need to look that up of what kind. This is not a leather jacket. Uh, and so, uh, yeah, you got to send. Yeah, you got to send me my. my yeah, I got to get. You got to send me your jacket. Keep sending. Together. I have a. I have a specific in my Discord. I have a specific place called uh, Men's Lifestyle, which is in my Discord. And so I definitely recommend checking that out. We're all talking about clothes and stuff in there. It's all legit. Uh, when it comes to your socks, um, I've heard mixed reviews of white socks. Some people are all about them for spring. Like, oh, spring's coming up. You got to wear white socks. It's cool again. Some of them are like, no, you only wear socks with jeans. Like, you almost never wear socks. Um, I'm currently going all black at this moment. Um, all my all my socks are basically black. Um, and so with jeans, any color is fine. But the key rule that you want to do is you want your socks to match your pants. Not the shoes, but the pants. So that way it's like one continuous color going down. You don't want like you don't want like your your leg lost in your shoe. You want it lost in the pants. Um, black socks only. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how I am too. Um, you can send it, kick guys. If you DM it to me, I can show everybody um, if you want. So um, what's next? So we have all the basic colors. We have the basics of all the different parts of casual, which is what I'm showing here. What's next? Well, here's the thing that I'm working on right now. I'm currently working on building an interchangeable wardrobe, which is four jackets, four shirts, four pants, and four shoes that I can mix and match. And so if I mix and match these outfits, that's basically 256 different outfits, right? So if I mix the browns and the blacks and the greens and everything else, then basically I have 256 different outfits. So I keep it simple, keep it versatile, um, and everything's good. I'm gonna expand my colors a bit though. I'm also gonna throw in some green. And so that's gonna be like my main color. So you see my green shoes, like I'm gonna throw in a green t-shirt or a green hat or some green sunglasses, um, a green belt. And I'm going to sort of uh, combine all those together. And that's going to be basically my basic style that I'm going to go with. So if there is a casual clothing topic that you would like me to cover in a possible future update or blog post, DM, Discord, those are the best places. Uh, the blog as well. Or is there something of mine that you want to see? Like if you're like, hey, you're talking about that pea coat. You didn't show us the pea coat. Uh, or any other questions you have. Um, just make sure you send those to me and I'll make some kind of blog post about this. Um, what the dude in the video does. Um, which which video though? Because I've I watch a lot of I watch a, a lot of different um, uh, of basically different men's lifestyle things on YouTube. I haven't watched any this week at all. I've been way too busy. But I, that's how I got started. Is I watched a lot of stuff on YouTube. I found a couple guys that I liked that didn't look like complete douches, and I thought that their like once again their advice was very like here's what you should do um, to make it simple and easy for you. You know, don't do the new, fa here's not, not like here's what's, here's what's fashionable right now. Like here's something that will always be fashionable. I appreciated that part of it. Oh, the interchangeable wardrobe guy? Uh, yeah, I, I got that from, um, I believe I linked a video. Maybe I didn't. Um, but I, I am trying to do, um, I am trying to do that style, like the four. I got that idea from him, the four, four, four. Um, so I got, I got a, I got a message from, uh, from Kickass, and so we're gonna copy the message link and see if we could open it up. 
Uh, we're going to get a jacket here. It's a leather jacket, apparently. So, uh, hello. He has gamins added to the spice rack. That's my su that's my subscriber. I'll have to um, I want to open this like that's what I want. Um, I'll have to check that out. I'll have to add you to the spice rack here as soon as we're done. <laughs> Eleven months, dude. Eleven months. All right, so let's let's zoom in a little bit. Nice, nice, nice. I like it. It's, it's basically exactly like mine, but it's leather. So I, I, it's perfect. I love the style. Um, I actually have a jacket just like I actually have two jackets that are like mine. Um, one of them has a one of them has the hood. The one I wear now does not. It's like extra large. Once again, I bought it when I didn't know how clothing worked. I literally bought an extra large jacket. I'm a medium. I'm a medium, guys. I bought an extra large. It like the sleeves go over my hands. <laughs> and I'm like, why did I buy this? And so um, I wear a jacket. My brown jacket is very similar to this. So I love this style. I love the two pockets. Uh, some people go four. I love the two pockets and the zipper up here. I like the the shoulder tabs. Um, the hood, I I don't like the hood as much, but like your like yours, like my other like my extra large jacket, they're removable, so you just take it off if you don't need it. Um, so yeah, it looks perfect. The color, it looks kind of like a gray. Like uh, I think a lot of, some of the color is lost in the picture, but it's kind of like a, a gray black, and so it's gonna go with everything. So and it looks and it looks like it's not too thick either. Like the padding isn't too thick, so you can just throw this on any day. You're like oh, it's a little it's a little cool out. There's a little bit of sun, whatever. I could throw this on and wear it any time. So, oh, it is a brown? Okay. Which I like even more. Actually, I, I like I like brown more. So, that was basically um, it. That was my, my casual clothing blog post. And so this is going to be uploaded as a podcast to my podcast place. And they'll put it on um, Spotify and all those other places. Then I'll upload the video to YouTube and all those good things. So, thanks for watching. Thank you for listening. If you're listening to this now when it's not live. And I will catch you next time with the latest update. Whatever people voted on. I'm going to go in that order. Thank you. I've seen